Old Alabama Gardener here, and I'm looking at all the work that I need to do as we get into spring. All right, so when we're talking about work, this is the kitchen garden, and I'm standing on the back patio, and I'm going to just give you a slow pan around to give you an idea of the layout of things here and the amount of work I'm going to get working on. And then we'll come back and look at some specific individual locations and we'll talk about the work that needs to go on at that particular uh, place. Now, when cold weather brought the gardening to an end last autumn, I'm real bad about just leaving things setting wherever they are. And you can also see all kinds of weeds and grass beginning to grow in the growing or planting areas. So all that's got to get cleaned up. And there's a ton of leaves on the ground. They need to be raked up and put into the compost. Alright, so this is the blueberries and they're covered with a electrical PVC gray uh, plastic, uh, kind of like a hoop house, but then that has bird netting stretched over the top of it to keep the birds out. So what I need to do is get in there and take the bird netting loose up at the top and drop it down so that the bumblebees can get inside there and begin to pollinate the blueberries. Now here you see a piece of black plastic concrete block and a lot of leaves on the ground, quite a bit of grass, and then we turn our attention up here to the trellises. Of course the trellises are where I grow cucumbers, uh, green beans, anything that climbs uh, gets grown on these trellises. Now here you see me pulling on some rattlesnake pole beans that's been left hanging there since last autumn. And they actually are good seeds. You could take those seeds and plant them and they would grow, make you some more green beans. But the point is the trellis needs to get cleaned up. Now as we move back in this direction, you see a uh, some raised beds back here. I had some winter stuff in it, I had some cabbage in one, some greens in another one. Grass has grown up in them. A lot of cleanup work to do right there. Got to get started on that. Now here I have a raised bed and it's got some Japanese radishes. They're called daikon and they badly need to be side dressed with some fertilizer. So we need to get that done. So here's one of our trellises. You can see the weeds and grasses growing. There's leaves all over the place. There's a few pots sitting around here and there that need to be moved. So we'll get to it. We'll just have to put it on our list of things to do. Now here's our compost and worm box and it needs to be restacked and the worm castings harvested. Now on this trellis, last year, I had uh, some cherry tomatoes growing and you can still see the residue of the tomato vines that needs to get cleaned up, raked up, and disposed of. And the same thing here, green beans was grown here last year and you still got the vines there. They need to be pulled down and disposed of. Now here we got a bed of green onions. I think these was planted back in, uh, oh, I don't know, middle of January. And uh, they need to be consumed, eaten, and gotten out of that bed. Now this is another area. Don't have any trellises here. So I would be growing bell peppers or eggplants, some kind of bushy stuff right here. Now this is an onion bed. What do we need to do here? We need to side dress with ammonium sulfate and get the grass and the weeds out of it. Now let's go out and look at the comfrey patch. See what we need to be doing out there. And as we walk out to the comfrey, you can see all kinds of leaves, a few pots sitting here and there. Stuff that just needs to be raked up, picked up, put up, done something with. 
All right, so here's the comfrey patch. I think we got somewhere around 30, so 35 plants in here. And they're doing pretty good. Uh, I'm not gonna give them any commercial fertilizer. I'm gonna keep them organic, but I will side dress them with rabbit manure. So that's the next project for the comfrey. And there's always something to do at the rabbit cage. You notice all the way down in the bottom, a lot of manure. So I need to get in here and get that manure picked up into some bags so I can use it later.